The following is a list of three of the most notorious haunted locations in Gardner, Massachusetts. Number one, Bridge Street. Bridge Street in Gardner, Massachusetts is rumored to be haunted by a woman who was killed in a car accident during a snowstorm in 1995. According to legend, her spirit still lingers at the site of her death, sometimes following pedestrians and motorists driving on the road at night before mysteriously vanishing. Although stories of the Bridge Street ghost have been told for many years, no records exist of a woman being killed in a snowstorm during the 1990s and very few first-hand accounts of paranormal activity at this location are currently available for reference. Number 2 North Central Correctional Institution North Central Correctional Institution is a medium security prison located in Gardner, Massachusetts. It was established in 1902 as a self-sustained psychiatric hospital called Gardner State Colony which later became Gardner State Hospital. Former patients at the old mental hospital were subjected to a variety of experimental and inhumane medical procedures, such as lobotomies and electroshock therapy, and most lived in conditions of squalor and neglect. Gardner State Hospital was closed in 1975 and was reopened as the North Central Correctional Institution in 1983. The location is said to be haunted by the spirits of former mental patients who died violent or otherwise unnatural deaths at the hands of hospital caretakers. Security guards working at North Central Correctional Institution at night report witnessing shadow figures and apparitions, as well as experiencing other paranormal phenomena, such as hearing disembodied voices and screams, as well as feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 3. The S.K. Pierce Haunted Victorian Mansion The S.K. Pierce Mansion in Gardner, Massachusetts was constructed in 1875 by a wealthy businessman named Sylvester Knowlton Pierce. It is said to be haunted by the spirits of several former residents, including Mr. Pierce, who passed away in 1888, as well as his first wife, Mrs. Susan Pierce, who died suddenly of a bacterial illness within a month of the mansion's completion. Due to financial difficulties during the 1930s, the S.K. Pierce Mansion was remodeled and used as a boarding house, which then became a haven for illegal drinking, gambling, and prostitution. It is rumored that during this time, a prostitute staying on the second floor was strangled to death, and her killer was never discovered. The woman's spirit is said to haunt the old mansion and is most often seen by guests on the second floor in the room where she was killed.
Another ghost said to haunt the S.K. Pierce mansion is that of a man named Aino Sari, who is believed to have died of spontaneous combustion in 1963 after his charred remains were found in the master bedroom without any visible damage to the surrounding area. The S.K. Pierce mansion was sold in 2015 at a fraction of its estimated value after multiple consecutive residents were allegedly driven from the house by the violent nature of the spirits there. It opened the following year as a haunted tourist attraction called the S.K. Pierce Haunted Victorian Mansion which offers guided tours and overnight stays to guests who are required to sign a liability waiver before entering the location. Those who are brave enough to stay overnight at the haunted mansion report experiencing a variety of unexplained poltergeist activity from disembodied voices, footsteps and whispers to objects being moved or thrown across the room without warning. Others have reported being pushed or otherwise physically attacked by an unseen entity, as well as experiencing lights flickering, doors slamming shut, and electronic devices such as televisions turning on and off by themselves. The S.K. Pierce Mansion is also believed to be haunted by several other unidentified spirits, including that of a former maid and a young girl believed to be Mr. Sylvester Pierce's granddaughter. The S.K. Pierce Haunted Victorian Mansion is considered to be one of the most haunted houses in the state of Massachusetts and was featured on an episode of the popular television series Ghost Adventures, which aired in September of 2013. That concludes my list of three notorious haunted locations in Gardner, Massachusetts. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more creepy videos and other content. To see my full list of folklore tales and haunted locations in Massachusetts, check out the link in the description and be sure to check out the link to my new book, The Folklore and Haunted Locations Guide, Massachusetts, available now on Amazon. To check out more of my creepy videos, click the thumbnails shown on the screen.